Hello everyone, my name is Dan Delisandri and welcome to my weekly top tip on Ableton Live, which is all part of the Get Your Act Together project with Cloth Cut in Leeds. Every Monday uh, I am delivering the Ableton Live course, um, so yeah, please tune in for that at 4pm. And if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you will get notifications of all the other activities that you can take part in, which I'm showing you here. So yeah, so straight to it. Uh, this week I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own kick drum in Ableton Live. Uh, so to begin with, it's really quite useful to use like a reference uh, kick to kind of compare um, and match up the waveform. So I've selected this kick drum here. You can find other ones within Ableton Live. You can download kick drums. There's absolutely tons and tons of them out there. Um, so you just Google kind of kick drums or drum kits, free download. Um, I'm sure you can find some on there. So to begin with, um, yeah, we're going to be using just one audio channel and a MIDI channel. I'm going to drag and drop the kick drum over into the audio channel. Um, let's activate it so we can see it. And then if I double click, um, this is what the uh, kick drum, the current one, looks like. Let's have a quick listen to that. So you can kind of see here, um, it starts off um, with a kind of a loud kind of uh, hit sound um, and then you can kind of see that the, si the, the wave, the kind of waveform fades out um, and this looks quite like uh, a sine wave so ultimately uh, what it is you'll hear kind of a harsher sound at the beginning and um, we'll be using like an analog, uh, the analog um, instrument on here to kind of create the sine wave so that's, that's what a bass um, kick drum would normally sound like anyway, so you kind of get that initial hit and then the bass would kind of fade out So that's what we're going to try and replicate here. So if I zoom in on this um, Waveform here, so next I'm going to grab an audio um, an analog um, Instrument here drag and drop that over and if you watch my video this week It was all about looking at analog and doing some basic synthesis using uh, different waveforms to create um, sounds. So today we're just going to be using the sine waveform. Um, let's hear what that sounds like. Uh, let's get that unsoloed. At the moment that's quite high pitch, so let's pitch it down. That's quite a nice kind of level there. And all I'm going to do is just draw in one MIDI note for it's going to last one bar. So it's just Add that in there, go down to the bottom, there's the note there, so I'm just going to drag that across, so it's just one bar long, um, take it off a little, and then let's mute that, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to hear that at the moment, um, let's make that a little bit longer, not long enough, there we go, let's make it go up to there. Drag that MIDI note across. There we go. And now that lasts the whole bar. So um, let's bring it back up so we can see it. So at the moment, we can't hear that. Let's see why. Ah, okay, because that play button's back there. Let's move that back there. There we go. So I'm just going to crank that up a little bit on the analog. It's quite quiet. Let's turn it up. Get nice and loud. So you can do that on this section here, or you can go over to the amp. Okay, cool. Okay, so quick shortcut. Um, just to quickly turn this into uh, an audio channel now. So if you right click, click on freeze track. I mean, if you right click again, click flatten and now that's turned it into a nice um, waveform there. Let's just combine those ones. There we go. So that lasted quite long. So yeah, um, let's take, let's make this a little bit shorter. We don't want to hear the whole thing. So let's just do it to the length of that. That should be fine. And then as you can see here, how the waveform kind of fades down, we're just going to do that on the fade. Uh, manually do that on the channel there uh, by pressing these squares and you can kind of drag it so you can kind of see how it fades down a little bit. 
So next I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more using the plus and minus on my keyboard. And the idea is we're going to try and match this uh, waveform here so it follows a similar sort of pattern to the one on top. So you're going to unwarp it and um, what we're able to do here, if you kind of click on the transpose, you can kind of make it longer or shorter. Um, let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see if we can match it up a little bit more. It's uh, quite similar and let's use a bit of a detune as well. Let's just kind of do that a bit more accurately. There we go. That's quite similar. Okay, so next I'm just going to kind of chop off um, the beginning here. So you can kind of see here this little part of the uh, the other kick drum. Um, you can see the waveform kind of goes a bit, um, a bit up and down and then it goes smooth. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of zoom in a little bit more and then where the point where it changes and it goes nice and smooth, I'm just going to um, let's just chop that in half so we can split it here. So if you want to split the audio, just kind of click on the section that you want to split and then do Control and E if it's on a PC or Command and E on there. And then this piece of audio, I'm going to um, put some distortion I'm going to kind of affect it so it kind of makes it a little bit um, bit messier. So you've got a bit more of a kind of impact hit on there. Let's go to the audio effects. Um, we'll go to the cabinet. Um, let's drag. Yeah, that's on there now. Actually, no, let's do the overdrive. Yeah, I think the overdrive works a little bit better. Um, stick the overdrive on there. Sounds a bit bit harder now. Um, might sound a bit crazy, but let's stick a few more on there. See that's clipping there as well. So let's turn some of these down. There we go. That's kind of that's not too bad there. Um, and let's stick. Um, this is why good to kind of put on your tracks if you want to boost them a little bit, a bit of saturation as well. Turn the drive up, that sounds alright. So we're just going to um, affect this first little bit of audio that I've chopped out here. So if you freeze, okay, freeze, ah, I've done the whole thing there. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, just quickly undo that, duplicate it, we're going to keep that top one there, we're not going to keep that one there. And then let's just on this bottom channel take all of these off here. We don't need them on there. Um, so it's just this first one, first uh, top sound that we're going to be flattening. So freeze the track, okay, flatten, there we go. And now we've got our kind of peaky kind of sound there. Okay, let's put them together. Um, actually, let's do it the other way around because this doesn't got any effects on it. Okay, so next, um, zoom in a little bit more, and we're just going to crossfade these channels here. So we can merge them. Um, actually, tell you what I will do. Ooh. going to try and line up so you see how the line kind of peaks down where it kind of goes down there but then it starts up here so I'm just going to move by double clicking this change the pitch um, so that we can match these up a little bit more oh, that's not going to work like that um, so we can move this over a little bit more taking that crossfade off over there So what happens if we merge these two bits of audio together. Go select them and then do command um, or con um, command or control J and it will merge those together. There we go, that's quite nice. Um, let's shorten it a bit, have it fade a little bit quicker. There we go. And let's duplicate, let's see what that sounds like across a couple of Channel, a couple more bars. That 
sounds pretty hefty to me. And then you might have to kind of put a bit of EQ on there as well, just to kind of take some of the bottom end off um, if you were to come and mix that down. So yeah, that's just a really, really quick way of making your own kick drum. Uh, given more time, um, you could kind of change the, the initial hit a little bit more, maybe put a bit more distortion on it. Um, but yeah, that's a really quick way of just kind of making your own kick drum so you're able to make original drum kits. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to tune in at 4pm on Monday. Please subscribe to the Clothcut YouTube channel. Thank you.